one of Assassin's Blade. I am so ready to jump back into the Sarah J Mass universe. I loved Akita. Absolutely ate it up. And I'm so excited to start reading this. So this is night one, day one of me reading the Throne of Glass series. We're starting off with Assassin's Blade. This is five novellas in one. I think it's going to be pretty easy to get through. And I'm starting this journey with my friend Amy. We'll keep you guys updated on how I go with this book. Apparently it is the god of fantasy. I'm very excited to jump into it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's talk about where I'm at in this book. I am currently on the second novella now. Finish the assassin and the pirate lord. And oh my god, it was so it was so freaking good. Kind of already have some feelings about where the direction of a couple of characters are gonna go. Now, unfortunately, last night when I was putting this as like currently reading on my Goodreads account, which I update quite often on there, I accidentally threw a spoiler. And now I know something about one of the characters I already read about. I'm kind of bummed about that because the thing is, there wasn't actually any spoiler alert or anything like that. They just like dumped it and it was right there. Tell me why people do that. I kind of feel like that ruined a little bit of the storyline but we'll see how we keep going i'm gonna read a little bit more today i started curse of true love as well i'm going to tend reading both of them at the moment Do a little bit of that a little bit of this one i'm kind of just reading like novellas at a time and the novellas aren't that long in this book I started to see what the assassin and the healer is going to be about because the parallel one was really fun I felt like it was a good way to start it i say sassiness but her strength and how she's also not a afraid to just like say things how they are or say what she thinks and maybe even at times she's a little aggressive in her approach is she aggressive or is it just because she's a woman and she's saying how she's feeling i don't know we'll see i'm going to read a bit more of this i'll let you know my thoughts <laughs> Trying to figure out, so obviously Akita, it's the Fae, they're fairies, that's their magic. I'm not really sure what the magic is in this yet. I know that there was magic. I don't know if there still is. See, I'm still reading the novellas. I'm getting the gist that there was magic and now there isn't any magic. So I'm trying to like figure out where the power is from. We know it's not the fairies. So like, what are they? They're not human either though. Like that's the vibe I'm also getting. Not human. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very confused at this point. I'm loving it though, but I'm just like trying to figure out where the power has gone and what their power was. Like the magic. I need to know. I'm up to page 89 and I need to know more. I'm loving this new character that is coming into play here. Her name is, I think it's Yurene or Yai. I don't know how to say it. That's how I'm gonna say it, okay? Because that's how it's coming up in my head. I'm not good with fantasy names, so don't come for me with that. I kind of see where this character is going to come into play with Celine or Selena. Very interesting and I can't wait to find out. Anyway, I just wanted to debrief you guys with that because I obviously want to chat with you as I'm reading it. I'm just trying to think like, I don't know how long this novella actually is. The first one was only 75 pages and like 10 chapters, but there's like five novellas in this. I liked the second one. I thought it was really good. And what I have actually been doing is highlighting. I don't, I like highlighting my books. I don't mind doing that. I know some people don't like to highlight their books. I personally do because I like to look back over things. And I feel like this one is giving so many hints to what like the future of the other books are going to be. Particularly throwing a glass, I'm feeling that's just a prediction, okay? I don't actually know if that's like real or not. But so some bits, some chapters that I've definitely highlighted more than others. So the last novella was quite short. It wasn't like a long novella, which I quite liked because obviously I'm reading two books at once. This is the page I highlighted the most. Don't look too close if you don't want to know anything. There's bits just like that I feel like are going to stand out in Throne of Glass and maybe even the other books. I'm still trying to miss so many spoilers on online. So I'm going to get started with The Assassin and The Desert. I'm very excited about reading that one. I think it's the biggest novella in this book. Crossing my fingers, I can actually have it finished by today. This week has been such a busy week. I've had client sessions. I've had 
What else have I had on? Oh, I do my podcast. I also have to edit my podcast visual. It's my first week of doing that. I also had my kids stuff on because I am a mum. And what else did I have on? There was a few other. Oh, I had my restock Friday just gone. This week, it's currently Wednesday, Mercury Day. So today, I've been packing orders for three days now. And I'm almost done with them. I'm almost done. I've only got international orders and I think about 10 other orders that are in Australia left to do. So this week's been a busy, busy week. The fact that I've even made time to read, I'm really proud of myself for that because I have been so tired. But reading is my therapy. It kind of grounds me and it gives me something outside of like all my work stuff, which I love my work. I love my work so much. But it's really important to have things outside of that. So books ground me and take me to a different type of reality, different types of worlds, and I really appreciate that. Let's get back into it because I'm excited to read a bit more before I have to go to go to school pick up. Yep. <laughs> This is like the literally peak of ADHD. I will be reading my book, God damn it, and tell me why my brain is like, we're reading, but we're also singing a song at the same time. It's so draining. It's so draining to have ADHD at times, but it's fine. I, by the way, I hit number 15 in spirituality and religion, Spotify podcasts. I'm so proud of myself. I, I can't believe I did that. Assassin's Blade. I am halfway through the novella. Well, I think I'm behind. Oh, I'm actually, I'm on chapter three. I'm not halfway through the novella. Me in denial. Get some more reading of this done before. I have about 15 minutes to read. 15 minutes. I can fit a lot in that time, right? Are you being delusional? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> again we are on the next novella i've officially finished the novella of the assassin and the desert so i'm officially halfway through now according to goodreads i did just update on goodreads then very excited to read the next one i'm going to read the next one tomorrow because i am tandem reading a curse of true love which i think i've already said that next one is the assassin and the underworld when i say the assassin and the desert oh my god i thought the pirate one was full on the end of that one was so chaotic. I was like, oh, and I won't say why because I don't want to give away spoilers for anyone that hasn't read this yet. But I thought the Pirate Lord one was so good. And now, oh my God, I'm so glad I read this first. Highly recommend reading this first. I know a lot of other people have kind of read these novellas through the other books. But, oh, I nearly lost my place. Oh, it's That's why you update on Goodreads because if your bookmark ever comes out, you know where you're up to. So obsessed. I'm loving being able to meet all these different characters and I can't wait to meet them again in the other books. I'm kind of gathering now where Selena is like talking about the powers. I feel like with Akatar, it was very like fae based, obviously like fairies and things like that, fairies and high lords. This one is very much gods and goddesses, which I kind of like the change of pace with that. I'm enjoying the writing of this. I loved Akita, by the way. I loved it. I will say, according to Mr. Free, changed my brain chemistry forever. And Akita was actually the first fantasy book I've ever read. But this one, definitely the writing for me. I It's so like full on. It's so fast paced. I don't know if it's just because it's the novella, so we'll see how it is with the other books. But this is very fast paced and I'm just eating that up because it just really helps my ADHD brain when it's fast paced. I don't like things to drag out too much. This is just kind of like getting to the point but also giving you a backstory. So I can't wait to read the rest. I can see why people say it's so amazing. That's my update for now. I'll update you when we're on to the fourth novella. I have had such an eventful morning. I've spent all morning trying to upload one of my videos to edit, but I've done that now. So I have every intention of reading The Assassin's Blade, the fourth novella. I haven't even gotten around to that yet. So much to do, but I need coffee. The coffee machine currently needs cleaning. So I just haven't even been able to have a proper coffee at the moment. I've just been having instant coffee and I've actually turned into like a massive coffee snob now. So I need like an actual proper coffee with coffee beans proper coffee beans i'm gonna go do that i'm gonna come back edit some of the video and then reward myself with assassin's blade novella and the last two are like really short novellas by the looks of it so let's go you're beautiful hello albie <laughs> Hi, 
Kill me, kill. Oh. Will you cuddle? <laughs> uploaded my youtube video oh my god i've been editing for like hours i actually think i have a stress headache from the amount of time that actually took me but i have more plans to read more of my book i just really wanted to get that youtube video up so yeah that was my first youtube podcast episode which i'm really excited about it is currently 8.55 at night. I am finally making dinner. I'm finally eating. I read a little bit of my book. I haven't finished the novella yet. I definitely plan on finishing it. My YouTube video. Oh yeah, there we go. My YouTube video is still loading. It says it has, it's, what's that, 76% now. So I've just been watching that load. And I've also been packing stuff for the restock. Public holiday today, so I couldn't get anything shipped. And I really just want to get it out. Like, I want to get the stuff out to everybody. I want everybody to get their stuff as soon as I possibly can get it out. And this week has just been such a doozy. It's been so busy. There's been so many times this week where I've been on the brink of, like, literal burnout. But I've just kind of kept pushing through. Because once I hit my luteal phase on my cycle, I don't feel like working or I just, I can't work how I would be working right now when I'm in my ovulation phase. I officially hit my ovulation phase or the end of it tomorrow. I hit my luteal phase officially. And I just always know that I'm gonna wake up and I can feel as soon as I've hit the, like the luteal phase. Sorry, I'm just being very wary of that. And so I'm trying to get all this stuff out ASAP. So there's that. And then also just cause I want everyone to have their orders already. I plan on actually starting Throne of Glass on the weekend so, so i'm gonna eat my mini pizza that i'm making right now <laughs> mini pizza i'm a child okay by the time it gets to the end of the night i just don't i don't care what i'm eating i just need to eat something at least before i go to bed eat my mini pizza read the novella go to bed eat like her leader her boss um i've forgotten his name it's kind of like a hard name to pronounce it starts with a so the one that starts with a I just like don't he's so manipulative and that's all I'm gonna say on that he's so manipulative I feel like she's at current kind of falling for it and I'm like yeah no girl you need to get out of there and given an opportunity to get out of there and you're not gonna take it but I, I mean at the moment I kind of understand like she just has such a big moral compass so I can kind of understand at current why she's not getting out of a situation but I'm like oh my god you were literally given an opportunity and you're not getting out of there girl what's going on with you i mean i guess she's like 17 so i just need to remember that like she's only 17 years old but yeah so that's what i'm finding interesting so far and i will say the silent master i loved his character i thought he was so sweet i could just feel the whole time just such genuine vibes from him and i really hope that we see him again kind of feel like we probably will considering like his son also was part of it and i just feel like that was such a big part of that novella there's just no way that he's not going to turn up again at some point in the future started for that because i just he's just like a wizard like he's just like full of wisdom and knowledge and i just really like it i'll check in with you guys later i'm gonna eat this mini pizza and read this novella day with me and my headband because I have musty hair okay I have not had time to wash my hair yet and whenever that happens it means it's time oh you guys are a bit low hang on it means it's time it's okay it means it's time to wash my hair but I just haven't had a moment to even do that I just went and got a hot chai latte and and a croissant as well because I have not eaten orders all morning I still have a lot more orders to pack I'm planning on doing that this afternoon, but I'm like, you know, I need to have a little break. I'm just feeling so tired. I just feel burnt out because I've just been so busy this week and I haven't had any time for like slowness. It really does affect me in more ways than you can even imagine. <laughs> get really frazzled, but I'm so proud of myself because this week I have managed to get most things done and also read two books at the same time. So I'm a superwoman, okay? <laughs> I think I'm a superwoman. Read some book some book let's go read the book finish the novella i really want to try and get both novellas done obviously i was aiming for a novella a day hasn't happened because this week has just been so busy but i'm still reading and for that i'm proud i 
I just finished the fourth novella. I thought it was really slow at first. I was thinking, this, where's this going? Like, this is not very exciting. And Arabin, I think that's how you say his name. I knew he was shady. I knew he was shady. Certain few things that Selena did with him, like obviously he's the boss. And there were certain things that like she let him get away with. And I just couldn't fathom. Like I was like, girl, why are you doing that? I have an opportunity to get out of this and you're staying. What are you doing? <sighs> the writing of this book is so good. Finally, we see a little romance happening. I kind of like that it was, I don't want to call it slow burn, I guess a little bit, but I will say the fantasy in this book, you just really don't care so much that the romance was like a subplot really enjoying that like I really enjoyed the fantasy aspect of that and having the romance kind of just a little bit there and the romance was so cute I just I loved it I thought it was so sweet but one novella to go we've got the assassin and the empire left I'll keep you guys updated as per usual don't judge me I'm literally gonna wear blue on blue this is my favorite jumper at the moment I got this at a market store and it's my favorite thing in the world love an oversized jumper freezing here still in Tassie I just don't even know what's going on with this weather. I love these silicon protectors. The only thing is that they attract so much dog hair. Look at all the dog hair. So I'm gonna go take the dogs for a walk. They need to get out of the house. I think I can finish off that last novella or at least like make a start on it. Such a beautiful sunny afternoon. It was such an overcast morning and it was like really cold, but now the sun is just like made everything warm again. I'm going to read The Assassin and the Empire. I'm really excited to finish the last novella in this series. It's only like 12 chapters and they don't look like long chapters. I'm excited to see how this is gonna end and excited to start Throne of Glass. My aim was to actually read Throne of Glass this weekend, so that's definitely gonna happen now and I'm really excited about that. And that means I can also get this vlog up on, I think I'm aiming for a Sunday nights. Let's get some reading done. Of course, I have my trusty highlighter. I have still been highlighting throughout this book. I feel like there's so many things that I'm gonna wanna look back on and remember and I feel like highlighting is just gonna like trigger my memory with that. Good morning. Oh, hang on. I need to set you guys up a little bit higher, don't I? Is that better? That's better. I can see you. Okay, so Assassin's Blade. I finished it. We've finished the book. Class. The end of that novella ripped my heart out. This is a representation of what this did to me. Literally. I'm not even joking. That was a little dramatic. What? <laughs> for serious though that was like gut-wrenching about it all night i actually had to read a fluffy romance after it because it killed me so much by the way i'm coming at you with some freshly washed hair because yesterday it was a grease ball and i just could not wear that headband any longer i have a lot of thoughts i cannot wait to start throne of glass hang on let's get throne of glass and i'll show you throne of glass this is my next baby not that big either that's the thing is like i actually don't think the books in this series are that big the information that was condensed in this there was so much information i really liked it so i would give i gave it five stars oh sorry i moved you then i gave it five stars on goodreads but technically i would give it more like maybe 4.5 4.7 i'd go between the two overall i'm really glad i read this first cannot wait to get into this one obviously starting this one today as i said before i'm buddy reading with my friend amy who i'm literally just watching her hi amy read assassin's Blade as well she's vlogged it on her tiktok account so go check that out I'm gonna start this one this weekend and obviously Obviously, I'm being very wary. Oh, hello, Winnie. Oh, see you then. Being very wary that Iron Flame comes out in literally a week. But I think this one will get done in a week easy. I heard really, really good things about this. And I need to know what happens with her boss. Because, again, he showed up some shady shit in the end. He's shady from the start. And that's not even a spoiler. He's shady from the start. He puts her in so many compromising positions. And, and that's as far as I'm going to go with that. Because then I will start spoiling it. But I don't like him. I don't like him. And will I continue to not like him in this one? I don't know. This left you off. I wouldn't call it a cliffhanger, but it's enough to get you curious. Now I'm curious what happens to Selena in this one and how she's going to get out of the predicament she's in in this one. 
to go into this one, especially considering what happened in the last novella in this one. What I want to say is please read this series. I'll continue to vlog. My next vlog is going to be on Throne of Glass, so keep an eye out because I will be reading that this coming week, so it means it's going to be out the week after. There's going to be a whole playlist. Oh, playlist of the Throne of Glass series. We're gonna do this together. This is gonna be a journey together. You and me, let's do it. Alas, I'll talk with you soon.